Hey guys, welcome back. So first, let me address that I'm in the same clothes probably for three videos in a row. And that's because I don't really have too many days to film, so I'm like gonna get a bunch of them done at the same time. I got my Ipsy and my Watchable bag at the same, and my Watchable box at the same time, so I was like, uh, I need to shoot both of them, so I figured I'd just shoot them all today. So today we have our Wantable box, and this is the accessory box. If you're new to my channel, I don't do the makeup box, I do the accessory box, but I really like it. Um, I did send my last month back completely. I just, I really only liked that necklace after I thought about it, and it really wasn't worth just keeping that one necklace, so I did send the entire box back. So we have a new month, and this is the August box. I did open it already. Um, I'm glad I did though because I had a question and I did talk to support about it and that's definitely information I can share with you guys. So in the box, this month it just says welcome to Watchable and they used to have really cute quotes in there but now it's just how to photograph your pictures and how to put it on Wantable and hashtagging and blah blah blah. So I was really nervous actually about the items in my box because I pulled out like the little form thing and I realized I didn't take out sunglasses, I didn't go back and redo the quiz before they sent it to me because it's an automatic subscription so I just forget about it until they send me an email like, we're sending it to you and then I'm like, oh crap. So <laughs> so I forgot to take out sunglasses so I was like, please don't send me sunglasses, please don't send me sunglasses. Luckily they didn't. But I did get four items this time and I'll go ahead and show you. And they're definitely all items I can put on and show you like as I do them instead of all the pictures at the end. Let me know down below if you liked the pictures at the end of the video or if you're going to like me having them on talking about them because I'm like, obviously I feel like I'm impatient and I can't wait and I'm going to open them beforehand. Uh, so they're not really going to be first impressions, they're going to be what I thought about them after looking at them. So this first one is a ring. I have to say my box was really eclectic like everything's really pretty and then there's like this one that's kind of like alternative and weird and creepy not that I don't mind it I just thought it was funny that this ring just sort of didn't fit it was like which one doesn't belong this is the Keeley ring and it retails for $16 and it says unleash your inner rocker chick with the Keeley ring featuring silvery rhinestone studded cloth style tip this vampy ring would be a knockout with some blood red polish so this is the ring right here. I'm not a fan of it, I have to be honest. This is why. It's only rounded on one finger, so this other one just kind of sits on top. So if you're moving around, it's gonna fall to the side and I'm either gonna stab myself or stab someone with it or it's just gonna fall off my finger because it's not really, I don't know, I. Trying it on my middle finger is a little bit better, but it's still, like, it'll still move around. Or it'll get caught. I feel like it's going to get caught in sweaters or caught in jackets. And it's just going to constantly be falling around my finger. I actually really like double rings. I just wish there was an extra ring part. I think it's really cool, and I like the little claws and the gems and everything. But the fact that it doesn't have another piece and it's, like, constantly falling off my hand, it's definitely a turn off with the ring. This is the second item in my box. I decided to put them on for you so you guys can just see it all together. The jasmine earrings are thin gold tone hoops that make a simple statement. Pair these with jeans and a tee to elevate a casual look. Totally think these would be perfect with jeans and a t-shirt. I think they are wonderful. I love them. Very lightweight, very thin. I don't really wear hoops anymore. I used to a lot in high school, but that doesn't mean I hate hoops and I definitely like these and probably will keep these. I like them, they're fun, but I definitely like that they're lightweight and they're not, like, they're not smacking me in the face. Sometimes if you get the, like, heavier, you know, a little bit thicker and heavier uh, hoops, they kind of, like, smack you in the face when you, like, look side to side. So these are really lightweight and I like them and, yeah, these are perfect. So these are the earrings that are the third item in my box. I like them. They're not exactly my style. Uh, but I like the colors. I think, I, I guess I don't wear as many dangly earrings as I used to just because I, like I've said a thousand times, I work with kids and they're like grabbing constantly and shiny things are attractive and that would rip them out of my ear. So I don't really wear them as much, but I definitely do like them. They're 
a little heavy, not too bad. Uh, I still think my favorite earrings that I got was probably in that, I think it's my April box. I can't find them anywhere though, it's a sad day. Sad day. Can't find them, but I still love them. They're my favorites. But I really like these, and I think these would be great. These are the Adeline earrings, and they retail for $17. And these classic drops include a white rectangular stone and teal drop. Style tip wear with your favorite gold classic necklace. Crap, I don't have a gold classic necklace. I guess I need to go buy one if I keep these earrings. No, I'm just kidding. These are just style tips, guys. Don't freak out. And I think the color is cute. I think it's a good pop of color with like a t-shirt and jeans or like this says with a gold simple gold necklace actually i'll just keep this on so i'm gonna go ahead and take my bracelet off because the fourth item is a bracelet this is the item i was telling you guys about that i had to talk to support for this is the bracelet i'll go ahead and show you guys a close-up so it is a friendship bracelet basically this is the back side and it is from a company called Etika. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I've never heard of them before. They are a Hollywood brand. Most of these don't have brand names on them. This is the actually only one that has a, it's actually from another manufacturer. So this is the bracelet on, really cute and adorable. This braided silk thread and rhinestone bracelet will make you feel like royalty. The rich color silk thread and marvelous gemstones will have suitors lined up. It's not easy being a princess, but if the crown fits, Style tip, this simple bracelet features just enough shimmer to be worn on its own for an easy everyday look. For more of a statement, pair with dazzling gold tone bracelets from your accessories arsenal and top off the look with some dazzling drop earrings. Here's my thing with this bracelet. It retails for $40. What? $40? Okay, I'm a crafty person and I have a degree in fashion. Well, basically with my crafty background and fashion and everything, I kind of look at things differently is in a, can I make that? Is it worth the price to pay for it and not have to make it? Or can I make that for cheaper and it's still not gonna take me like forever and be a total waste of my time? Because some things are better to just buy in stores than make your own. But things like this, I can make this myself. I can easily make this thing myself. So I wanted to go on the website and I wanted to see why it was $40. I wanted to see the other products on their website. So I looked up Etika and I will definitely link them below because I think it's an adorable bracelet and if you like things like this, I would check out their actual website. So their actual website has very similar things like this. They're different color schemes, very cute. I love that it's dainty and it's simple and it just has a little bit of sparkle. Like I said, I love this bracelet and I think it's cute. Do I think it's worth $40? No way. So I went and looked on the website and I saw them and they have a bunch of these and they're like $27. It's like a Hollywood brand and they work with celebrities, blah, blah, blah. Really cute items on there. But these bracelets were $27. $27. This one's $40. Why is this one $40? Sure enough, I contact support and just wanted to know because I figured if I was going to film this video, I would want to be able to tell you guys why this is $40 and why you can actually go to their website and get them for $27. So the ones on the website are actually cotton linen thread. This one is silk thread. Would I notice that something is silk versus cotton? Not really. Would I personally spend an extra $13 on something because it says it's silk thread? Probably not. So if you like this bracelet, it doesn't come from Watchable. You can, well, it does come from Watchable, but it's from an actual outside manufacturer. You can actually get this from Etika just in cotton linen thread, like you would get at Michael's or Joann's for $27. $27 is still a little cheap, or it's still a little steep for a bracelet like this, but I think I'd rather spend $27. Oh, fun fact. So I also asked Wantable support about this as well. I know in one of my past videos, I had a mini rant about that I can't find the manufactured products or like, at least in the makeup box, there are brands that are recognizable, whereas these don't come from any specific brand. So you can't like get more of that product or see more of what that brand or company has. These actually just come straight from their favorite manufacturers is what they said. I mean, it's cool that you're still getting awesome products, but it is kind of a bummer that it's coming directly from just a random manufacturer. And 
you know, you just have to, you, you can't get these items anywhere else or any similar items anywhere else, you know, like the makeup one where you can be like, I love this Kaylin lipstick, I wanna get more. Can't do that with this brand, unfortunately. It's all gonna come from a, straight from a manufacturer and they're not from any specific brand. But, you know, that's kind of the fun about Wantable as well as you are getting, you know, fun items that you probably wouldn't go pick up in the store otherwise or, you know, wouldn't go out looking for. Yeah, that was my August Wantable box. I hope you guys liked all the products in there, all of my little reviews, fun facts. Sorry if it's a little longer than just a regular unboxing. I want to be as thorough as possible with my reviews and not just be like, this is what I got, this is what I got, this is what I got. Because there's already a bajillion videos online already that are unboxing. So I feel like I want to give you a little bit more thought and background, you know, things, if I could find out anything about the company, the particular item, like this bracelet, you know, want to do extra research for you guys. So let me know if you like all this extra research or if with my Ipsy you want me to just show you what's in the box. Show me if you got anything different, new, what you thought about the products I got, what you thought about the products you got, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.